brand new Herco machine. Who are Ortho Solutions and what do you do? Ortho Solutions is a medical company. Uh, we uh, focus mainly in the foot and ankle arena. Uh, we are here making prototypes and development instrumentation, both uh, uh, for, for instruments and also for implants. Why did you pick the Herco machines? Herco machines, uh, Herco have been around a long, long time. They're known for their reliability, their accuracy, and also cost of purchase. You're designing these parts in-house and then putting them onto the machine. What's the programming like on these machines? Uh, the programming is very good. Uh, at the moment, I'm using the machines uh, conversationally. That means that we're not using the solid model to generate the program. However, that is the next phase of our uh, progress. We will be using CAM, uh, maybe Hypermill, Fusion 360, maybe even uh, NX. Just to get you up to that next level, and that will make your uh, cycle times quicker as well? Yeah, it will make the cycle times quicker, but it will also make the parts more cosmetically pleasing in that we will be able to create and generate the radiuses that flow around the actual profiles. So you've got two Herco machines, you've got a lathe and you've got a mill. So the part in front of us here, I presume, is basically your OP1, which has been done on your lathe. This basically has been turned uh, ready to go on our, our milling machine. Uh, so we've removed a lot of the, uh, the steel ready for it to be milled and pocketed and profiled. So obviously prototyping, we've then moved on to the milling machine. You've also got a uh, full faxis on there um, and we're creating this sort of part. So we've gone from that cylindrical part there to a part that's got a lot more programming in it. Correct. Uh, the reason that we are because we're only making prototypes, it makes sense to machine that on the fourth axis. And that machines we can, that we can rotate this round 90 degrees to machine, to machine a slot, a pocket. Then we can rotate it round 90 degrees to machine the other pocket. We can then profile it. So it makes sense to do that in a prototype scenario. In a production scenario, we would probably do this on in a vice where it's more rigid and robust. Uh, but for prototypes, this makes perfect sense. So you're doing prototypes on these machines here and then they are going to go on to production. How are you programming in that without CAD CAM? You're programming it with the program, conversational programming? Yes. All the... All the parts that we've created so far have been done uh, conversationally. Uh, we are uh, going to now sort of focus on a CAM solution. Uh, the reason for the CAM solution is that we'll be able to then finish the parts to a more uh, cosmetically pleasing state. So for instance, there will be corner radiuses that can vary around the profile of the part. How long have these machines been in here, Kevin? We've only had these machines in uh, two months now. Are you happy with them? Very happy. Yeah, they're very accurate, they're very robust. Uh, easy programming as well, which makes time easier. Easy programming. Uh, the graphics are very good, so we can run the graphics uh, and visualize the part to make sure the part's good. We can look at uh, within the graphics we can look at the tool, uh, where the tool is going to be relative to the part. So yes, they're, they're very good. Are you happy with Herco's customer service? The customer support is great. Uh, I have instant access to uh, um, engineers that can help me if I have any issues. Mm -hmm.